in the music wing, but it's so fun for me to finally hear the final product. So we've got a lot more to come. This next act is a skit called Alex in Wonderland, and it is written by students. In this fantastical story, based on the painting Peaceable Kingdom, Alex wakes up deep in the woods to find out she can communicate with animals who cross her path as she tries to find her way home. In the beginning, she is hesitant to trust them, but after meeting a few helpful animals, she learns that keeping an open mind and seeking peace produces harmony among her band of helpers. Without this, she would not be able to return home. What is this place? Bugs? Trees? Dirt on my brand new ball mates! I must have dozed off. It was just supposed to be a time for me to come into nature and clear my head, but this doesn't look familiar at all. Who is that? I'm not afraid of you. Ha ha ha, well you should be. I am cunning and swift. Colorful and... I am beyond what you see on the surface, a trickster, a deceiver. I am actually the face of a clever and quick-thinking mind, an ambitious kind. I am Fox, and you are? I'm Alex. Alex, hmm? I've never seen your type around here before. You have four legs, but you only use two. Your eyes are bright and your skin seems naked, except for these weird garments on your body. Are you feeling all right? Yes, I'm all right. Is this real? H how are you talking to me? I'm a human, don't you know? Aren't you supposed to be afraid of me? A human? Hmm? I've never seen you before, no. My friends always warn me about humans, but so far this is pretty unexciting. Talk about anticlimactic. You know, I always thought that if I ever met a human, I had to fight hard for my life, but gee, this is easy. Is this real? Not sure what you're referring to, but this is real life, yes. Why wouldn't it be? Because we shouldn't be communicating right now. It's impossible for us to be talking to each other. Why would it be but impossible? But I'm so lost, I don't know where I am. Why would it be impossible? We're both creatures of the earth. We both believe the same. What more do you need? You're a deceiver. You said it yourself. I just can't trust any fox I meet in the forest. Haven't you seen Dora the Explorer? If you go through your whole life thinking that, you'll never achieve a peaceful state of mind. If you say that, please help me. I need to get home. Hmm. Try having an open mind, ha <laughs> ha. That's not gonna help me get back to my family. Please guide me. I, I don't remember how I got here. Hmm. Must have hit your head. Bye bye now, ha <laughs> ha. Wait, please don't go, Fox. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? I came in here to clear my head, but I, I don't remember how I got here. This doesn't look familiar at all. <sighs> now I'm alone, so terribly alone. That fox can't be right. I, I must be dreaming or hallucinating. And how is that advice supposed to help anyway? To have an open state of mind? Could he have meant something else? A peaceful state of mind. Could I ever really achieve that sense of... Absolutely fascinating. What's this? A talking human. Human, do you have a name? I, uh, I... Oh, what's wrong, little buddy? Come on. I... Speak, boy. I am there! Ah, what's wrong? What? A bear is telling me what's wrong? Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. Just tell me what's going on. I, I don't know. Who are you? Oh, I'm a powerful spirit, always ready to protect. I'm a healer, but a keeper of these woods, and all who come through them, and you know what they call me? Barry. <laughs> okay, Barry. Um, I don't know how I got here. Can you help me get out of here? Mm. Where would you like to go? Uh, well, I'm looking for a city, civilization, Ooh, somewhere with people. I don't know much about cities. I tend to stay away from them. Nothing really goes well between them and us. Uh, have you seen any? No, but I do know someone who has. Vinny. Is he a bear, too? Did someone say venison? I mean, Vinny, I'm the glowing light force, full of imagination and shining guidance. If I pass your path, you are compassionate and gentle. Trust in me, the luckiest animal in these dark woods. She's a deer. 
Oh, thank God. You must know all about cities. I went to a city once. I almost got hit by a car. Those humans are so inconsiderate. Granted, they did slow down, but I panicked and ran across two more times. The third time, <laughs> the third time I hit the car while it was parked. Really? Uh, do you remember what the city was called? There was a lot of blood, and I'm illiterate, so no. <laughs> okay, but you must remember how to get there, right? I mean, I have a general idea, but if we get lost, we can just find my brothers on the way there, and they'll help us out a bit. Ever since I lost my memory that day, I've had trouble with directional stuff. I have some head trauma. Well, anything you could do to help. I need to get home or I'm gonna go crazy, as if I haven't already. Hmm. Let's okay, go. I'll leave the way. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Where's the music coming from? Some strange music. What's she doing? Do we question uh, it? I'm, I'm, no, don't. Just, just keep going. Just keep going. I, I'm not going to question anything. How are you all liking the great outdoors? What? A squirrel? He said something exciting was going on, and we got curious. So, you're here to help? Nah, uh, not really. We're just here to annoy you. Because <laughs> we hate you. Now back to my question. How are you liking the great outdoors? I don't want to be here. I want to be back with buildings and warm blankets and windows to separate me from all of this. Wait, wait what's, what's a window? It's not warm right now. It's warm now. I honestly do not really need... Well, join the party. Now wait just a second. Sounds good to us. There's a clearing just up ahead. Um, then let's just set up shop right here then. No, right here. we have to keep going. Uh, my family must be so worried about me. Um, you're not the only one who's like missing things. I have a family too and they're probably worried about me. I'm sorry if I struck a chord with you, but now is not the time. We have to keep going. No, I'm with the bear on this one. My knobby knees can only go so far. Pathetic. What did, what did you, you just, just say? say? I just think it's interesting how you want to give up so easily. Oh, we're not giving up. We're just taking a rest. I thought humans were lazy. Wouldn't you want to take a rest, too? I'm not lazy. I think you all proved how useless you are. How am I supposed to get home if the animals who said they would help me aren't willing to help? Gosh, I said animals like this is a normal thing. Well, if you're not willing to work together, we don't have to work together at all. Come on, Vinny. Let's go find another human to help get back to civilization. I don't need you guys anyway. There's other animals in these woods, you know. Oh, dear. What's going on? Just... Just go with them, Squirrel. I, I don't need any of you. You send me on the path, I'll, I'll just follow it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Tragic. Yeah, I can do this. I got this. I'll just keep walking through these dark woods with weird animal sounds and no water. God, I'm hungry. I don't know how long I've been walking, but it's starting to get dark. I've been gone for a whole day. My family must be missing me. But. I'll find my place soon enough. I definitely will, even though I'm starving and I can't even see where I'm going. Maybe I'll try to find some berries. Oh, but what if they're poisonous? And the water may be murky and dirty. There could be predators out here too. But it's fine. Who are you? Where is that coming from? I stay hidden in the day, but I am a creature of the night. I am connected to the harbinger of death and magic. I am... Oh, you're an owl. Uh, yes. <laughs> the fox sent me here. He said you were in need of some guidance. Are you all alone? Uh, I wish I wasn't. I'm trying to get home, but they all left me. Uh... Granted, I, I did tell them to go, but it's not my fault, and I'm fine. Mm. I see the problem here. What do you mean? just met me. Yes, but there is deep emotional turmoil in your words. These animals who left you, do you wish they stayed? Yes, but I put myself first in, instead of working with the team. But it's not my fault. They wanted to rest, but I need to get home. They said they would help me. Have you ever heard the phrase, beggars can't be choosers? We all do that sometimes. But this doesn't have to be your final decision. You can reverse things if you like. Oh, aren't you so high and mighty creature of magic? Say what you want. But after all, I am the only one here trying to help you. Take a look around. 
I'm the only one here, and I don't even know who you are or why you're here. Honestly, I know I said I don't need any help, but maybe I do. Maybe I was in the wrong. Mm, that's what I was hoping for. Just keep an open mind and you should be fine. Now, harmony works best when we all work together, so just keep an open mind and, well, I keep the peace in this forest. Maybe you should adopt that idea. I don't know if I believe that or not. Surely that doesn't work between completely different species like humans and other animals. Then what would be the point in trying to work together with these animals in the first place? Harmony thrives best when everything works together like the gears on a clock. You do have a point. I'll try to find them. I have to. But wait, how do you know about clocks if you live in the woods? Oh, I've been to many cities. Oh, I could take you to one if you like. Really? Oh my gosh, I've been lost for quite some time. Thank you. I will help you, but let's go find the others first. I'm sure they'll forgive you. I hope so. Human over there? No, it's probably nothing. No, I think the deer is right. Uh, hey guys. Lazy again? Oh, yeah. oh, hey, Al, what, what, are you, what are you doing with the human? You know my name. No, nope, I'm sorry. Bears have very short memories. Yet you remember me calling you all pathetic and or lazy. Okay, maybe I do know your name. I shouldn't have talked to you guys that way when you were just trying to help. Okay, say no more. I forgive you. No, I want to hear everything she has to say. Okay, thank you, Finny. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't right to call you guys pathetic. I wasn't right for not being grateful for your help. Um, I promise if you'll help me again that I'll be better. I talked to the owl and she made me realize that we all need to work together as a team. So what do you say? Uh, will you help me get back home and maybe eat something? That's true. Teamwork does make the dream work. Exactly. I'm glad we're on the same page. Fox, uh, I guess you really were trying to help me after all. Thanks for that. Oh, it's quite all right, dude. I just put you on the right path. Thanks anyway. Um. Well, well, I think we should go find that city now. Actually, can we get something to eat first? Yeah, we can have a picnic when we get there. It's not too far from here, actually, I Owl. think. Owl, is that right? Sorry, Benny. I just know you have some head trauma. Yeah. She's correct. Well, then let's get this started. Why don't we just have the picnic right here? You're probably starving. You can't travel on an empty stomach. I'll go grab some stuff from over here. Absolutely, thank you. Oh yeah, can you bring him some nuts? Please.
Next up is a dance called Boom Baya. This high energy, joyful song gets us moving. As we choreographed this dance, we were thinking about harmony, both in moving together and moving apart, sometimes attempting to reflect each other as in a mirror, and sometimes working toward a leader, follower, offbeat, rhythmic quick step. We hope our dance gets your toes tapping.
We have had, hello, we have had some technical difficulties with the ninth grade technology. We're, we are going to try the 12th grade one again now. So please be patient. If it's something doesn't work, we'll keep working. Sun in the sky, sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Birds flying high. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. Birds flying high. Harmony is like a chick boys sandwich, like the bun, the pickles, and the chicken all together. Harmony is working together, like being on a team to accomplish one goal. Well, harmony, harmony to me is when you you can have like two people from completely different backgrounds, completely different set of beliefs, whatever, that can come together without conflict and make something really beautiful and amazing. Now that could be like music, that could be like a piece of art, or it could just be like two people hanging out making dumb jokes and laughing together. Um, Bazinga. <laughs> to me, harmony is two people getting along. Um, those that don't always get along, but they're getting together as friends and just people living in peace and as a world living in peace and just being together as one. Harmony to me is the sound of a baseball when it hits the glove. In basketball, we harmonize because we work well together. <laughs> um, it's a lot of things to keep it being. I think uh, the most that I try to like, look at is in sports and music and sports. Our team can play, but if they don't have harmony, that like that just being able to work with each other, that harmony really helps the success. When the Eagles won the championship, they had that harmony. They would just bang out to meet them real quick for the championship and the Super Bowl. And they had that harmony. They were all on the same page. Everyone was doing their job. Um, they're all willing to fight for each other. Um, all we got, we all need. And for music, um, you know, three-part harmony, just a little something, something for the for the mic sometimes. Um, yeah, just, it's beautiful. It's, you know, a solo's nice, but sometimes when you have a uh, soprano, uh, alto, and, you know, one other one, <laughs> it, it just sounds all right. It sounds real good, you know, it sounds real smooth. A blessing to the ears, you know, claps. Harmony to me is when like, a bunch of people are just singing together, having fun. To play basketball, hang out with my friends, uh, do handshakes because it, feel, it, it makes me harmony. Uh, harmony to me, it's a funny thing. So, uh, <laughs> people usually associate harmony with love, uh, but it's so much more than that. Uh, we just listen. Uh, you, have, you have the wind in the trees, you have the leaves rustling on the ground, and that's harmony. Harmony is a mesh of two things together, and it's, it's beautiful. Uh, like when two people are walking and talking together, their footsteps start to sync up, and it, it turns into a harmony. Uh, harmony is what you make it, and people usually think it's love, but it's, it's more than that. It's all around us if you just want to look for it. Hello.
Have you ever felt like nobody is there? Being alone can be one of the worst feelings you can experience. However, when you are lonely, as the song says, and don't feel strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach out your hand. Lynn manuel Miranda and Ben Platt come together to mash up two different songs from the musicals Dear Evan Hansen and Hamilton. The songs You Will Be Found and The Story of Tonight share this message of being there for someone else. It shares the message of coming together and working harmoniously to share stories and get to know each other. In addition to musical harmonies, life is full of bonds and friendships that bind us together and help us keep going. So, as the mashup says, let the sun come streaming in because you, you'll reach up and you'll rise again. If you only look around, you will be found. like nobody was there have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere have you ever felt like you could disappear like you could fall and no one would
An element of harmony weaves together the songs Long Time Traveler and Down to the River to Pray. There's also harmony within the voices and instruments as some different musical elements are added. The most significant piece of harmony appears in the lyrics, which speak to the peace and love we have in our relationship with God. Charms of earth, farewell, your springs of joy are dry. My soul now seeks another home, a brighter world on high. I'm a long time traveling here below, a long time traveling away from home. I'm a I'm traveling here below to lay this body down, to lay this body down. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown, good Lord.
Next up, we have a piano solo, sonata in D major, the third movement by Haydn. A piano piece connects to the theme of harmony for two reasons. First, the different sounds being played have to harmonize to create the piece. Second, you have to combine many different techniques to play the song. Tempo, dynamics, and types of notes must be perfectly combined to create a piece that is pleasing to the listener. Next is a class video titled Two Are Better Than One. 
Two are better than one. Yes, there's a lot we can do on our own, but when we come together in harmony, we can do something bigger than ourselves. This video gives us a taste of the different ways we can work together in harmony to do something greater than just one of us can do. Just like in life, when we do things together, we can accomplish something more.
I was just being coached on how to pronounce this. I will do my best. Tai Wei, meaning pick up flowers, is a Chinese poem from the Book of Psalms that was compiled in ancient China. The dance Tai Wei, also identified as the water sleeves genre in classical Chinese dance, depicts the scenery of young girls picking flowers in the countryside. Together, the dance and the poem express people's wish to live in a harmonious life within nature.
This song was written by band members Jeff Hanneman and Carrie King. This mid-80s trash metal song is known for its guitar harmonies. The popularity of the song has led it to being included in the video game series Guitar Hero. It is considered to be one of the hardest songs to play in the game.
Next up is a small vocal called Way Back Home. Music is the most fascinating thing in the world. It breaks down language barriers. As you enjoy the song, you don't have to understand exactly what we are saying because you will hear the Korean, Chinese, Indonesian, and English languages. Just follow the rhythm and feel the harmony. The song will unite us.
Our final act in this first half is another small vocal called Two of Us on the Run. The harmonies in this song grow and build off one another as the song goes on. It begins with one voice, the melody, accompanied by a guitar. By the end, three voices, guitar, tambourine, and piano have joined in, and the resulting blend creates a stunning harmony. The lyrics inspire us to consider how the experiences of our past may join together to vault us into the future.
Wow, spectacular morning. We still have some to come. Um, I've been told that lunch is ready, and the NPR judging is finished, so you can take a look at those um, art pieces and culinary pieces. We are asking um, those of you who have made something culinary-wise, since you're going to be taking it at the end of today's program, you are able to share with friends, but we're asking that you wait for about 15 minutes so everyone can see what it looks like first, all right? And only if the f person who made it shares with you, can you take something? Okay, this isn't a free-for-all food, all right? Um, I'd like to, um, we're gonna be having lunch for about 35 minutes. You'll need to listen for the bell. Um, out, there'll be a, one going and it'll start, the 35 minutes will start as soon as everyone is dismissed. I wanna dismiss the tech and stage people first and the judges and the timers. People's Choice Awards um, should be on Schoology by the end of lunch. Of course, we still have some afternoon pieces so you don't wanna vote yet, um, but we'd like to get that to you by the end of the day. So People's Choice Award uh, should be on Schoology by the end of lunch. Please vote sometime before the end of the program if you can. And we'll try to announce that. Uh, the skit eHarmony and the small vocal say something, I'm giving up on you. You can go now to lunch. Okay, se seniors. Seniors. Juniors. Sophomores, 